Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on something called consecutive interior angles. Okay, uh, you might hear a teacher also um, call it same side interior angles. Okay, so what exactly are consecutive interior angles? Well, take a look at this diagram. Here we have two lines that are parallel. Okay, the blue lines, and then we have a red transversal line that cuts through. Okay, the the two parallel lines. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to focus on the inside of the parallel lines. Okay, those are the interior angles. Okay, and when we say same side, we're talking about either to the right or to the left of the transversal. So one pair of same side interior angles would be four and six. All right, so we can say angle four and angle six are same side interior, okay? As well as angle three and angle five. All right, so those are our two pairs of same side interior angles, all right? Now, last thing you need to know about this, all right? The same side interior angles are also supplementary. All right, so please write down supplementary. Okay, which means their sum is 180 degrees. All right, so consecutive interior angles. Okay, again, the key thing is that the two lines are parallel and they're cut by a transversal. Their sum will always be 180 degrees. Okay, so if you turn to the next page, here's a problem. Okay, and we have two parallel lines and we have a transversal, and this angle right here as well as this angle right here, are same side interior. And we know that the sum of those are gonna be 180 degrees. So let's write an equation to solve it. So we're gonna have 2x plus 43 plus 2x minus three is gonna equal 180 degrees. Again, it's supplementary, okay? So now we can simplify this. So 2x and 2x is 4x. And 43 minus three is 40 equals 180. Now I'm going to take away 40 from both sides. So we have 4x equals 140. Okay. Now we need to divide both sides by 4. And when I divide 4 into 140, let's do the long division here. Okay. So 4 goes into 14 three times with a 12 for the two remainder. Bring down the 0. So it's going to be 35. So our x is going to equal 35 degrees. But we're not quite done yet. We're, we're almost there. Now what we got to do, we need to plug in the 35 for x. So 2 times 35, that's 70. And 70 plus 43 will give us 113. So we know this angle here is 113 degrees. And then if I plug in uh, 35 for this x, 2 times 35 is 70. And 70 take away 3 gives us 67 degrees. And guess what? If I add up 113 plus 67, that gives us 180, which is supplementary. All right, so now that you understand the rules about consecutive interior angles, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problem now. And then when you're done, uh, hit the play and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I did it with this practice problem. Okay, so here we have, again, two parallel lines and a transversal, okay? And we want to find the value of x, right? So, again, we know that this angle here, as well as this angle here, are same side interior, okay? Which means their sum is going to be 180 degrees, okay? So I can write the equation 20x plus 5 plus 24x minus 1 equals 180 degrees. Okay. Now I can simplify the left-hand side, so that's going to be 20x and 24x is 44x plus, if I add the constants, 5 and negative 1 gives us 4, equals 180. Now I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, so now we get 44x equals 176, and then divide both sides by 44, which means x is going to equal 4. Okay, so that's most of the work. Now let's just figure out the angle measures. 
So if I plug in x uh, back into this first uh, angle measure, so 20 times 4 is 80, and 80 plus 5 is going to give us 85. So we know this angle here is 85 degrees. And then if I plug in 4 here, okay, um, 24 times 4 gives us 96, and 96 take away 1 gives us 95. All right, again, here's our proof that we know it's going to be right. If I add up 85 degrees plus 95 degrees, we get a sum of 180 degrees, and that's what we want. All right, how'd you do?